Welcome to Friday University. My name is Neil Pathakar, and in this video, I want to discuss the types of traders in the market that would definitely provoke some thought and attention and look back on yourself. So here we have Trader Joe. He is very interested in getting involved. He studies the charts, the patterns, and really finds his thing is penny stocks. While the issue is he's always chasing the next runner and he's looking to make a home run and be rich overnight. Unfortunately for Joe, he doesn't have a crystal ball and he can't predict the bottoms and the tops of the stocks the way he thought. And he consistently actually loses money in the market and finds himself in a hole that he can't seem to break even and then he keeps trading and losing more money. I give Joe a C grade because he has the ambition, he tries, and he thinks that he can absolutely win in the United States market. However, he doesn't have the right approach. He is too impatient and is looking to do everything in a day, when in reality, it's accumulation of time and work over periods of years it might take the win. So now we'll take trader Justin, per se. He's an everyday Joe, but he takes his time and invests in smart companies that he knows. This includes Apple, Visa, maybe even Tesla. He does well. He makes profitable returns, and he sits on his positions and lets them grow over time. However, with Justin, he's never happy with his account. He always is working a job, and he sees his account as something that is there and isn't doing too much for him. He always saves his money, trades diligently. However, he doesn't see the promising reason that people believe that he can go above and beyond. So unfortunately with Justin, I'll give him a B grade because he's profitable, he's a smart trader, and he's not doing it full time, but he's not happy with the journey. So now, this is the kind of trader that I want to see to get an A grade. He takes Justin's approach. He works hard, saves his money. He puts it into the market and consistently grows his account. Five, ten years from now, he sees growth in his portfolio because he has smart companies. While doing that, he saves his cash balance and makes his trades reasonably. He'll sit on the sidelines until he sees a runner something that has great news and continues to run. And he's able to make awesome trades. He enjoys his time in the stock market and he's profitable. He, what else can you ask for for a hobby, part-time job? He makes it look easy. Well, that's not the reality for a lot of traders. So that's why I ask you, what are your short-term goals? What are your long-term goals? Who ha what kind of trader have you been in the past? Who are you looking to be and grow into as a trader? These are questions that you got to reflect on yourself and your experience. Learn from your losses and try to win. Easy said, easy done. Thank you.